Okay, welcome guys. Welcome to the Sunday stream. How are we all? Let's have a little catch up here, shall we? Josh, Ben, Dan, Lara, Panther fans, Owen, how's it going guys? Welcome to the stream. Uh, apologies if I sound a little rough today. Um, I've got a, a pretty horrific sore throat, um, so we will, probably won't be as live for as long. But, um, but welcome, anyway. How are we all? How's everyone's week been? Let's find a little spot to have a catch up here, shall we? Looking out over the new town from the bridge. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> hey, Jane, Lance. Welcome, mods. Hey, H4. How's it going, guys? How are we all? How is everyone? Got 31 people off the bat already. Welcome, guys. Welcome to Sunday stream. So, uh, we're just going to carry on uh, expanding from yesterday's video. And uh, you guys will have to let me know in the chat if you want to see this city return in live streams uh, because I'm enjoying it so far. And uh, I think it's nice. Nice little map. Nice little town. Let's get started, shall we? Let's, um, let's bring ourselves back into the daytime. And we'll turn our day night cycle off and we'll, we'll get started, shall we? Hey Jeff, how's it going, buddy? Welcome, everyone. Let's cut out some of these trees along here. Love the first video, so I went rogue, but now I'm nervous something will break down. Uh, practice mate's perfect, Claire. Practice mate's perfect with this game, I think. Uh, okay, so I want to plan in um, a secondary highway exit, so I think we'll work on that first of all. We'll get it all set up. Happy year from Tokyo. Happy New Year from England, Mackie. Hey, Mrs. Egg. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're feeling a little bit better. Okay. Um, this will probably be... This will probably be a good point, I think. Hey, Connor. Welcome to the stream, mate. How's it going? Hey, Mass. Happy New Year, buddy. How's it, how's, are you alright mate? You not, not seen you around for a, a while. For a long time actually. How's it going? Okay, so if we're going to line this... Let's have a look where this is going to come down. I kind of want it to align here. So maybe let's take... Two of these out. And then we'll bang it straight in the middle. This should be okay. Hey Jamie, Badge, welcome to the stream guys. Welcome to the stream. Glad to hear that you're good mass. Okay, so let's start introducing a little secondary road here to meet up with the main town, which will run. Bring it down to here pretty much perfect with the road guidelines. <laughs> when does that ever happen? When does that ever happen? Oh, and we have Peony Frillis with a 10 US dollar super chat. Happy New Year, wishing everyone a safe and productive year. You too, Frillis. Thank you so much, or Frills rather. Thank you so much for the, the super chat, mate. Appreciate the support. And uh, Happy New Year to you as well. Happy New Year to you as well. Okay, so let's continue to bring that bridge over here. We don't need this connection anymore. And then we'll bring some little one-way roads to run parallel with our main highway. And then let's see where we can come out here. Cool. Put that in as well. When we all that lined up like that, I know. When does that ever happen? When does that ever happen? Okay, let's turn off our road guideline. Turn off everything here, actually. We'll just get a nice little smooth transition. And then let's bring everything back in. Bring it down two more tiles. And then we'll hook in at an angle of 280. And that should leave us with a nice little roundabout. Okay, and... We don't need to build the bridge over yet. I think it'll be fine without. 
And then we'll upgrade this exit as well. Uh, take this one away. Hey, Nicole. Welcome to the stream. Okay. So very similar to how we started Palavin, right? We'll just have another highway on and off point here. But uh, we don't need to worry about expanding it all the way down there just yet because we're not really using that land. Underground, yeah, we will take it uh, underground, I think. We'll make it a tunnel. Like, pretty much similar to the start in Palavin is what's going to happen down there. I'm having a few little, uh, little highway intersections around today, I think. See what happens. Okay, so we got like loads of demand for basically everything right now. So I think we'll continue to... Continue expanding our suburban pattern here, I think. Let's get into our 4x4 zonings, of course. We'll have a nice, neat, uniform suburb for starting out. Let's see how long that lasts. <laughs> Before we're like, no, just mass zone it all. Just mass zone it all. Hey, Jürgen. Good evening, dude. How's it going? Oh, we're a little bit off here, aren't we? With the measurement. Oh, that's fine though. This is the perfect chance to introduce uh, a little bit of a little bit of a vanilla path spice maybe. Uh, let's come into just our grid. Have a little path and then let's come through with maybe a little bit of nature as a fence. Can we squeeze it between the road and the path? No, just slightly out. That's fine then. Okay, let's take away a tile's worth of zoning. And then we'll come in with some little repeated tree spice here as well. Okay. We've got 90 people. Welcome to Sunday stream, everyone. I hope you're all okay. Had a wonderful week. Come through the bushes here, maybe? Maybe just between the trees, actually. So I get too wild for just a little bit of expansion. Tree spice, tree goodness. <laughs> Maybe come through with a little bit of that uh, tree goodness, perhaps. I'm so happy to see that the Captain Tin memes aren't dying, by the way. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> hey, Timo. How's it going, buddy? Okay. A little bit of education problems here. We'll place in a high school. I think we'll put a high school somewhere over in these suburbs, so it will have a fairly central location when it starts out. Let's see where we want to put this in. Um, if we continue this road through here, and then that little zoning opportunity gives us a little opportunity to come through with our paths here again, although we are using gravel uh, pavement path here, so we'll stick with the pavement, I think. Can I go in behind? Here we take one of them out. Can we squeeze in a park asset here? Something small, maybe. Maybe like a little... A little dog park, maybe. Okay, we can squeeze that in. Just have to rework our paths a little bit. Any reason you haven't turned off traffic lights in this build? Uh, no, just haven't done it yet. We will come through and turn a few of them off. Okay, and then we can bring this through. And then maybe just the smallest little bit of commercial zone in. We'll see how we're going. Okay. We hope if I hasn't let the game play here. I need to get out of the habit of pausing the game all the time. Uh, okay, let's come through and do traffic lights by someone just remind us of it. We don't need them here along this main street. Uh, we'll probably switch the flow here too as well. We've also got a touch of decoration to do through here as well. Okay. Let's come through with... I think we'll go dirt path of this. Bring it through. 
Nothing too exciting. And maybe some little bit of nature as a fence as well, just to kind of hug that curve. Bring it through here. Okay. And then just some smaller trees to fill out these empty spaces. Maybe a conifer or two if we're feeling dangerous. Hmm, okay. I think we'll let this asset regenerate. Not a huge fan of that one. I hope you all agree that just decorating out this little street corner with paths and fences and trees and whatnot just helps it settle in a little more, doesn't it? It's a nice little small town feel, I think. Throw that enormous scaffold in the background. <laughs> like someone's leveling up. Fantastic. Wonderful. Hey, Egg. Wishing you and all the others in the community a very happy Christmas. You too, Anik. Thank you so much for your kind words, mate. Thank you so much for your kind words. Uh, okay, let's start planning out something of like a town centre. The, the land around here is super uneven. If we want to come down to the waterfront, we're going to need to terraform. Okay. So let's have a little look at where our town centre is going to lie here. Probably place it in. This point's going to be a good spot, isn't it? So if we come from this one, start from here and we'll come to 30. So it's. Let's go for right there. Okay. Then we can have our little, little town centre in here. And then we can bring. Maybe like a little waterfront road that's going to come down this side as well. I think that'd be okay. Let's leave it right there for right now. That'd be that'd be fine. And then let's work on getting a little school park in here as well because we did have some demand for for a high school. So let's combine a couple of assets. Let's go for normal high school. Bring this one down, connect it up, and then it can flow over there. And then maybe like a little basketball court. And where do we want this to come through? Okay, so let's continue upon our suburb. I have mass transit in green cities, as well as Pierce got green cities today. Green cities is one of the best DLCs. I love green cities. Always the best part of the smaller towns. Yeah, I always enjoy a town centre build. Okay, let's carry on filling out our suburban pattern here as well. Thanks for your support in that new video as well, by the way, guys. It's doing really well. Support is always appreciated. Okay. And I guess do we want to go for... Maybe let's bring in a med clinic now. Place this out here on the corner. Oh, see, what's the European one like? Yeah, I think let's go for the European. We'll change the asset up a little bit. Got 116 people on the stream, everyone. Hope you all had a fantastic week. Okay, and again, we'll continue the off road guideline. Continue our very open path structure here. Oh, do we need a new power station? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. So it's down there for right now. Might be okay. Hey, Egg, loving the stream. Hope you had a great week. Yeah, we wasn't too bad. Thanks, Boogie. How about you? How about you? Okay. So let's just see how we're starting to transition into this little new area, shall we? 
Uh, let's come back for a road guide line again. Bring this one down. And we'll do one more as well since we're going to be building in this part as well. Okay. Let's carry on meeting these demand bars, shall we? Let's uh, bring another big batch through here. These are nearly grown up and ready. And then we'll need to decide on a spot to kind of end the suburb and merge into town centre. Oh, it's terraforming. Let's uh, arrange this quickly, shall we? Uh, let's come up for... There is a, a terraforming tutorial on the channel. Oh, we have no money. Because I'm playing the game on one speed. <laughs> let's let some uh, money stockpile here. Uh, yeah, there is a tutorial for terraforming on the channel. If anyone is new from the, the video, um, if you'd like to find out how all these tools work. It was only uploaded a few weeks ago, so you should be able to find it on the channel if you want to. Okay. Oh look, first fire. Palabin vibes. Slight Palabin vibes here. Money is getting low, yeah, because I'm playing the game on one speed. <laughs> I'm placing in med clinics and parks and stuff. Old habits. Hey Arnie, happy new year to you as well, mate. Okay. Let's fill out a little bit of this, shall we? It's because I want to terraform as well. Just we didn't have that massive ditch that was coming along that main road. Draw this in. Got a little bit of commercial demand too as well, so let's continue to flesh out the main high street. I guess we'll we'll take it up to there. That seems like a sensible place to end it. Don't want this big commercial strip to go on for too long, you know. It's gonna take away from that smaller town vibe. Okay. Hey Grace, happy new year to you as well. Congratulations on winning Spice of the Month. Yeah, I'm going to announce the new Spice tomorrow, by the way, guys. For those of you that are looking to participate again this month. It'll, uh, it'll be announced tomorrow. A couple of trees in here, maybe. Something a little taller. Maybe a palavan pine. Maybe the first one. Can do some detailing while we wait for money to build. We can. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. A little commercial block behind the med clinic. And I guess we'll continue this little pathway up here as well. To there and then we can carry on with our nature as a fence detail into help border this path out quite nicely get a little sweet spot in there cool and we'll do the same here another nice little transition into this town center could put little repeated tree patterns nothing nothing wild Okay. Let's have a little look at how all this flows now, shall we? So we've got kind of our dog park with the pathways through. You can see the difference that detail in the paths makes, right? Kind of look at this little spice sample here. And then compare it to this one with the fences and the trees. I think this one's just so much more, like, authentic, isn't it? That's the right word. Maybe decorate out with a touch more commercial there as well. A beach from Poise to Smoke. <laughs> hey, I finally made a stream. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year, Jennifer. Go wild, use a redwood. We could use a redwood, to be fair. Yeah, the forever neglected redwoods. Let's take out the Palavan Pine. Yeah, okay. It's coming together, I think, isn't it? 
I feel like we want some kind of centralised frontage outside the high school here. Um, do we have any other roads yet? No, when do we hit them? 4,000 until we get them. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, I did want to introduce a little uh, walking highway over the highway, actually. Let's go and do that now while we remember. Uh, okay, I guess we'll come through here. We'll drop them this side of the road. Let's go on for our grid. And then we'll come out by 60. Is that going to be too steep, actually? Let's maybe move it onto this side. Yeah, okay, so we'll come out by 100. So exactly how we did with our bridge. And um, we can elevate walking highways as well. Okay, let's bring that middle post in. This one down. And then what was the measurement? 102. Happy New Year, Rick. Have you given up on Palavan? No. <laughs> no, Palavan is fine, guys. Um, Palavan is fine. You don't need to worry about Palavan. Um, this is just the updated template for the new year. So we're just... Showing noobs how they can get started with the game. Updating some ideas and whatnot. Okay, so we're getting AI picking up the little bridge now. It's a faster way back and forth. Okay. So we do have some industrial demand and we do have forestry available now as well. Um, I don't really want this dirty industry to sit here forever. Would ideally like to start getting involved in some forestry stuff to satisfy a little bit of this industrial demand. Yeah, and the news of Palavan. Yeah, Palavan hasn't gone anywhere, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Palavan hasn't gone anywhere. Oh, we're going to have to delete so many of these trees. Okay. It's a wonderful stream, by the way. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, a lot of people really enjoyed uh, seeing Palavan get blown up. Which was interesting. <laughs> I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Eh? Oh, the Mass Effect soundtrack? Yeah. Always for City Streams. Pairs wonderfully well with the game, doesn't it? Okay. Start to create a little bit of a forestry area here, shall we? Do we have the industrial road? Yeah, we do. Okay. Let's bring this down. And then I guess we'll go dirt road. Okay, let's paint ourselves out in an uh, industry area. For those of you that might be watching from the uh, 2021 video, uh, this is the industry's DLC stuff that we're working with here, where we're painting out these areas so we can work with forest industry instead of the polluted stuff that we put in the video. Okay. So 20,000 for that. So we can start preparing some forest industry and also give them uh, their own dedicated highway entrance as well. A little further down the highway here. So that'd be nice. I forgot what it's like playing with so, much, like so little money at the start of the game. Am I excited for the new Mass Effect game? Um, the new Mass Effect game or the remaster? Either way, I'm excited for both, yeah. Okay, that is not the asset that we want to generate in here. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the remaster first of all, and then the uh, the promised sequel. Okay, so let's start to bring our pattern down here. As long as the sequel isn't anything like Andromeda was, then I'm going to be happy. <laughs> I'm going to be happy. Okay, and then we'll connect through here as well. Shatter a little bit of that zone in. So many trees. <laughs> I didn't install the tree brush mod. It's fine. I mean, do you guys want to see this city in future live streams? Because if it gets to the point where, you know, we can't stream Palavan because there's nothing to do on the usual Sunday streams, then we can do this one instead. Just like a little chill vanilla city. Test out some ideas and enjoy a little bit of city's time together on a Sunday.
I hope they don't mess it up like they did Andromeda. Yeah, me as well. Me as well. I was not a fan of Andromeda. Okay, so let's start to merge. Can't just use the tree brush to delete in bulk. Yes, you can. Um, but you need the tree brush mod for the PC. Uh, console players do already have a tree brush. Uh, but those PC plebs, unfortunately, don't. Okay, let's continue with our specific pattern here. Let's keep satisfying these demands while some money rolls in. Okay. So how do we want to transition here? We've got a little bit of commercial. We've used some parkland here to transition back into suburbs, so I guess we can repeat the same thing. Let's have a look at... Uh, some assets we can possibly get involved with. We could build a part life park. Get the first one in. Should we do a part life park here? Yeah, I guess it's a good chance to show off some of the part life DLC, isn't it? Excited to follow a build in real time. As much as I enjoyed watching the Paladin videos, there's something special about seeing a city growing real. Yeah, it's a different vibe, isn't it, on the live streams to the episodes. You can kind of see everything that I do. Um, I guess we'll just fill this space in with a park area, right? And we'll just go for a regular city park here. Can we centralise? Yes, we can. Fantastic. So this won't be a super cheesy park. It's really just here for entertainment. And can we squeeze one down here as well? No, I don't think we will. Okay, so... Just like, maybe let's bring some pathways out here so we can rest our sets on them. Bring it out by two. And then we can grab a little park cafe to rest on this angle. Okay. I had no idea that console had the tree brush. Yeah, console do have the tree brush. So I... We're sat here spouting PC Master Race, <laughs> and we don't even have a tree brush. But yeah, the console does have it. Surprise, isn't it? I have to download the mod on the PC. Okay, and we can bring our fencing around. I guess we'll just bring it. Yeah, we'll, I think we'll we'll bother to curve. Let's bring it out here. Hey, I got just watched Palavan get destroyed. How did it make you feel? Everyone seemed to really enjoy it. <laughs> Everyone was a big fan of watching Palavan get annihilated. So I think what we'll do here is bring in a little more commercial zoning. And then come through with some of those paths again. Just to help link people through from this side. Do it from the middle. Cool. Will this be a new series like Palavan? Um, no. This city won't have episodes. If you guys want to see it in live streams, then we will see it in lives as we are now. We'll just carry on expanding. So, um, you know, people new to the game can just see kind of a city unfold in real time, like someone's just said. Okay, so that developer will bring our fences down again, shall we? Come to our angle. I think in real life, people would use the cafe to get into the park for free. They probably would. They probably would. And then we'll bring behind. And then down. And I guess we don't really need this curve anymore. Okay. There's a little bit of transitional parkland here. Uh, maybe a park info booth. Should be able to squeeze one in here. And a plaza as well, maybe. And then we can flush it out. So where we are outside of the fence, we'll use our taller trees. Just so it makes it look a little more overgrown. A little more wild, if you will. Please live stream City. Yeah, if you guys want to see it in live streams, then we will. We'll just make an appearance every now and again. Is it a way of getting out of doing a snow map? 
I've been rumbled, guys. I've been rumbled. No, I'm actually really looking forward to doing the Snow City. Um, purely because of that, I've never really built them on before. Snow City will be after Paladin. Bring some larger overgrowth thing. And then we should just see this little block now that had lots of awkward zoning and it just transition a little easier into back into suburb right from this viewpoint right here now. I think we're all enjoying this. I hope so anyway. <laughs> I hope so. Love to see some updates to this city in future streams. Wonderful. Which map do you think you use for the Snow City? Um, I have no idea. Um, is, the, is the one called Frozen Shire or something like that? Um, I think probably that one. But TBC, basically. I don't know yet. Uh, okay, let's carry on getting these in. How are we looking? Any problems? Everyone happy? Yeah, we're okay here, I think, aren't we? Okay. Let's come to our road guideline. So, do we want this road to come down to the waterfront as well? This is a fair old. To fair, I don't even know how I'm planning this city out. Let's have a little, little lay of the land here. The waterfalls on this map are insane. I remember reviewing this when the. Um, when the, the DLC dropped. I love Frozen Shire. Is that what it's called? I, I remember it having Shire in there somewhere. Oh, wonderful. We've hit Boomtown. Fantastic. Oh, yes, trams. <laughs> yes, please. Let's get involved with some tram spice today, shall we? Yeah, so we've got a new tile. Transport options are now here, including buses. I can maybe get a little intercity bus plaza built near that new highway exit. That might be nice. And then we've also got the highway roads as well, so we can upgrade the entrance to the city now. And then a whole bunch of new stuff. Fantastic. Wonderful. Amazing. Okay, let's upgrade these highway roads first of all. Uh, same direction is what we want. Let's upgrade these. these as well and then we can turn these into slip roads cool just watch your 2020 version it's helped me a lot thank you no problem dmc glad you enjoyed it mate thank you for uh, stopping by and letting me know once he lays on a tram there's no turning back the city is here for keeps yeah <laughs> That's usually the issue, isn't it? Let's clear out some of these rocks and start looking at a town centre design, shall we? We've got some money now. Uh, let's pay our loans off as well. And um, pay it and take it. And pay it and take it. Fantastic. 76 grand. Uh, okay. Town centre. Unique buildings, everyone. Let's hear your opinion as well for what we can place anyway. You have a little bit of the old faithful. The tax office is here. <laughs> <laughs> the tax office is here. We could make a town centre out of the festival area. That obviously would be a nice um a nice asset to use for a town centre. First egg live stream, hey JT17. Welcome mate, appreciate you stopping by. Or we could go more of moderation. Use the Meteor. Or the Meteor Park, this one. Yeah, we could use that. Library. Yeah, library would be a good option for like a central building. This isn't level though. We'll need to change that. For Old Faithful Zicket Claw. 
If I could have Ikit Claw as a town centre, Connor, I absolutely would. We can centralise this way though, and I think this would be the better road to centralise on, as it's like one of the ways into the city. Okay, let's do that. Uh, and then we can build our intercity bus plaza opposite as well. Okay, so... Let's come out by 320 here. And then over there. Fantastic. Let's place in the library, which will centralise wonderfully well. And then let's bring this out up until there. And then we'll hook in with this back road over here too. Okay. Okay. Start to add some commercial zonings in here now. And I guess, do we want... It's factory where we're going to have our tram squares. Or tram square for right now. We only need one while the city is as big. But we'll, I guess we'll prepare to. Let's go for trams. So for those that are following on from the 2021 city. Uh, trams are snowfall. I think we'll cluster it around the high school. Uh, Snowfall DLC, that is, rather. Should probably clarify that. Mm. I'm just trying to figure where I want to put my tram building. Because you should use these as decoration as well. It's 40 grand. It's a lot of money. <laughs> I remember stuff being this expensive. Take me back to Palavan. Okay. Let's bring a tram only road down. And then we'll have it on its side like this instead, okay? I think that'd be alright. Uh, and then let's introduce some tram squares. So we'll come off everything. Well, just the road guy line, actually. And we'll go for some one-way tram tracks, and we'll make some little tram gardens here. I guess we can just do one for right now, can't we? Okay, let's leave five tiles between the road and the tram. Wicked. And then... Library indeed. Did I say library again? <laughs> I can't talk. Nope. Oh. Okay, so where are we going to feed our tram? Uh, I guess we can loop it from town centre through to suburb. Bring it back through here. And then when we have the space and the need, we can have another little tram square in here that's going to take people down to like the waterfront and over to this corner. A square around the clock tower, maybe? We don't have the clock tower yet, do we? No, we don't. Yeah, I'm not missing it here, am I? Oh, yes, we do. No, we do. 45. Yeah, we could place... We could place this in here. We'll wait till we get some money first, though. Okay, let's um, let's bring our tram network through town. Just upgrading the roads we placed earlier into tram roads. We will lose a couple of buildings just as the new road snaps in, but it's honestly nothing to worry about. And I'm actually wondering, maybe let's switch to a tram-only road here. We'll lose some pathways, but we can easily draw them back in. Swap this one back up, and then over here as well. Okay. Let's come through and grab our 
much ammo it's. I think it'd be nice to see the tram come back up past the park as well. Get a little stop in here as well around all this park action. Uh, and then upgrade this one. Okay. And I think we'll also upgrade this into two way as well. And then we can have. So let's come down here. Stop every couple of blocks or so as a general. Good rule of thumb to follow. Pop this one over here. Mm, don't need to start that one, that's fine. They're already close enough together. Fantastic. Okay. Let's catch our first charms as they come out, shall we? Wonderful. Change the colour, let's go for about like a gold. Go for a golden tram. You're getting some nice views with the bridge. Hmm. How many people are picking up there? Oh of course. I have upgraded them into a road that won't accept that connection now, haven't I? down. Just do a curve instead. This will be alright. What was the measurement? 122? Let's come down this side as well. There you go. Should see some more people pick that up now. Let's see if we can catch our trams coming through the new area too. Should be here in a minute. Appreciate everyone stopping by for a little bit of Sunday action. We've got 178 viewers right now. Yeah, here we go. Trams! <laughs> Do anything more satisfying than trams in a new city? Yes, please. Are people waiting here already for, for a stop. Busy little town, so cute. Any traffic issues? Not yet. Not yet, we're still... Everyone's still coping? Yeah, super big fan of the tram running down a high street like this. Really, really does get me going. Lots of people using them already too. Let's make sure we don't need to add in a new... Uh, a new tram car. I think we should be alright for right now. Yeah, it's okay with four. Yeah, trams are here. <laughs> We're happy, we can call the stream there. Trams have arrived. Um, okay, we need to let some money stockpile. We have industrial demand to meet, and we need to meet it quickly. Let's get a little nighttime look, shall we? Oop. Let's find a little nighttime. I'm a big fan of this view. Especially with the trams coming through here now as well, and the lot of textures and patterns that the tram wires actually add. Ding ding, ding ding indeed. Yeah, little parks come come to life now. Very nice. Happy with that. How are we doing through here? This suburb is on a little bit of a slope, but the terrain isn't ruining things for us, I don't think. For those that are new to the game as well, you don't need to be as kind of anal with the terraforming as I am. I just like to kind of flatten everything out beforehand. Um, let's bring a pathway through here. This would be a good point for them to connect in. Tram noises remind you of the seaside. Yeah, you got some like distinct Blackpool vibes about them, don't you? Okay. What are we doing here? Um, I think we'll just go with maybe a path border. 
from all these points. Can we do this? One long run? Yeah, we can. Okay. And then we can just link through a couple different places. I'm not a huge fan of this asset right here. I think we'll take this one out. And then trim this down into a 4x3. And then maybe upgrade this one into Nature Reserve too. Cool. And then again, you know, we're in our small town here. We want to keep the vibes going. Just draw a little box around here. And we could look at a repeated tree pattern to run the length of this path. How would we feel about a little bit of repeated conifer spice to run behind this commercial high street? A little bit repeated. Repeated tree pattern, maybe. I think we will. I think I'm happy with it. So let's the money stockpile here and then we can have a look at some forestry stuff as well. <clears throat> Excuse me guys, my throat is like absolutely raw. Um, I'm not as tired. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll bring in some stuff down here as well. Is anyone else getting all tingly watching this new city come to life? <laughs> tingly? Um, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying it. Eh? Okay, is this going to be too much? It will break. We should see the conifers against the silhouette of the suburb as well. Or the silhouette of the, con of the conifer, rather. Irish public transport is boring. Literally buses and one tram system in Dublin. Only has two lines there. Yeah, we have pretty horrific public transport where I live as well. Kind of place where like a bus comes around every three days. I love that they use the path border. It makes such a difference, right? Nice little transition. It's not just like commercial zoning and then residential. But it's just like a little bit of... Almost green belt, I guess you could you could call it, right? Egg sounds like he's been drinking. Do I? I have a sore throat. That might be it. Mass Effect music in the background. I love it. Yeah, me too. Every time. <laughs> Ten hours of Galaxy Map Theme 1 from the first game. Fantastic. Okay. Let's leave the game on 3 speed here. Collect some money. And then we can do... Bring the trams across the bridge. Uh, yeah, we'll probably bring the trams to cover that side of the map down this way. Maybe give like a, a tram only road bridge to cross over the highway here. Get some elevated tram spice over the roads. Get some people use this exit now too. Wonderful, fantastic, amazing. Good evening, Floric. How are you? Okay. Can build our forestry main building now. Wonderful. Um, I think I actually want this facing the main road. Or do we want it facing the highway? No, we'll have the tree farms on the highway. Let's bring our forestry main building in here now. How much is it a week to upkeep? 120, that's fine. Wonderful, small tree plantation, sawmill, and some log yards. So I'll say this again. <laughs> For those that are watching from the 2021 video, this is the industry stuff, and that significantly expands uh, how you use industries in the game to make money and produce resources. It is one of the better DLCs if you're wondering which one to get. Industries is definitely up there. Um, let's bring through Forestry Fence here actually. Love having farms on the highway. Mm, yeah, it works really nicely with the... Um, with the what's it called? Why can't I think of them? The wheat decal from the level 1 farm. It works really nicely there too. Okay, so start to mark out a little area for our 
forestry here. Can we split the firehouse too? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. How much do we need? 4,000? That's fine, we'll have that in no time. Let's come to road guideline. Everything actually, so we can snap against the highway. Okay, so we might even get like a little... A little road texture between the dirt road and the highway here if we put them right close next to each other. It's actually quite a nice contrast. It's not two assets I usually use right next to each other anyway. A highway road and a dirt road. Dirt road spice is a horrible name for a spice girl. <laughs> yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? It would be. I'm not a huge fan of that, but we'll we'll work with it and bring some more dirt roads behind here as well. When is it we get the the ones that we used in Palavan? It's a sapling field, isn't it? Level two, we get it. Place some trees around it so it has the natural resource. Uh, it's all conifers in here, isn't it? And a conifer border behind it. Wish they had sort of bigger farms. Yeah, um, industries needs like a massive rework, like a serious rework. It's massively imbalanced in terms of the amount of traffic it produces. Like you get a level five farm and it's like downtown New York City at 5 p.m. It's insane. It's just so many, like, farm, like, tractors and stuff. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Please rebalance industries. We will bring some sapling field spice in, Harry. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we will bring some sapling spice in. And then just very rigid straight pieces up against this slip road. And then we'll end it there for right now. How are we looking here? There's a lot of conifers all of a sudden, isn't there? <laughs> Especially now that we've, we've made this one. Maybe let's change this out again. Um, beach, maybe. Let's go over some beaches. Would that be all right? How are we looking here? Okay. Um, how big is the sawmill? Um, this one here. Probably place this in here. Okay. There's only one real conifer. Mm. There is, isn't there? Let's just give them a temporary power connection until we can afford that sawmill and then it'll sink through. Oh, we have some death. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, let's work on a cemetery park. Um, when do we get this stuff? When does this unlock? 12,000 for the cryo preservatory. Okay, yeah, we won't get that for a while. Okay, just placing a couple of cemeteries in. I guess we can wait to do like a dedicated cemetery park build. When, um... when we get the crematorium. How are we looking here? If we place in... K-1 
can't quite squeeze into next to each other. If we did this side though, and then place another one that side, we can get some nice symmetrical path spice through the middle. Let's try that. You should place some trees underneath the forest jasset, otherwise it won't produce that many goods. And we place them by the side of it. Some down here. But yeah, it's a good idea to place them under it. Uh, okay, let's go for... Heart Path with Decorations. And then we can prepare ourselves a little... Entry point to formulate something around. We can bring... Into our free form with no snapping. Actually, just the angle. And bring it down here too. Take off the angle. And then we'll come into there. <laughs> Prepare to die cemetery. <laughs> It's good to see that jokes from like episode 17 of Paladin are still around, isn't it? <laughs> really appreciate that enthusiasm. Okay, get some people mooching around here now as well. And um, I really do need to leave the game on three speed. Let's bring in some commercial zoning into the town centre. I think we'll stick it in here. This will be alright. Got some post services as well. Post office will work wonderfully well on the corner here. Okay. Part level 2. Wonderful. Can we have more first-person tours of Palavan? Um, yeah, I am going to do more first-person Palavan tours. Um, I just need to tweak with some of the speed settings in the game so it's a little less motion sickness inducing next time. <laughs> it's a little bit wild, I think. A few people got sick off of it, including me making it. But yeah, we will do more first-person tours. Absolutely. Uh, okay, Let's, we can buy out a sawmill now, right? I know 15,000 it was. Can get a small log yard in. I think this will look nice up against the main road, maybe, if we take out a bit of the fence in. No, we can't squeeze it here. Could maybe use it to decorate this corner out. Let's paint out our industrial area a little further down here. And we'll use a small log yard to decorate the corner. Do you use the POV mod for the first person tours? Uh, yeah, yeah I did. I did. Um, let's take this away. Maybe a little further up like this. We'll eventually phase all this dirty industry out and replace it with forest. Um, let's grab some forestry fence. And we'll try and help this blend into this pollution a little, a little easier. Let's maybe come through with some little, little bits of rock and overgrowth here. Can't really use too many trees with all the pollution, but it won't be polluted forever. Yeah, I'm guessing no tree will survive here, right? Yeah, the conifers look awful. We won't have them here. We've got 201 people. Welcome to the Sunday stream, everyone. Hope you're all okay. Having a fantastic time. I think, you know, just expanding the asset out with a little bit of its own fencing. 
and then coming down here just helps it throw the shape blend in a little bit more German here best tutorial series on YouTube thank you so much TV Deutschland one appreciate it you gotta get some rocks in there you do Biffa how you doing mate it is Biffa Jane <laughs> again Have a look how our town centre is getting on. It's getting on without any water, it would look like. Uh, let's bring our angle back on. We'll bring this one down. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Biffin, mate. Uh, busy New Year and all that. But yeah, overall, pretty good. A little bit of a sore throat today, but surviving. <laughs> How was your New Year's, mate? Okay. Let's continue designing our little tram stops and tram squares here, shall we? Uh, let's look for... Hmm. Can we get those trams to centralise? with the middle no we can't but that's fine though don't worry about it we'll just come through some parts instead everything's gonna be okay good thanks back to work tomorrow yeah same man same christmas is over now guys mm, i kind of feel like i want the commercial facing inside to the square now i think this has to be This has to be the goal. Let's rework it all. Bit of bit of spice, Losh. <laughs> yes, it is, Loslu. Yes, it is. Don't worry about it, he says. Clearly worried about it. Yeah, I was. <laughs> it's like the stream is ruined. What's the point? Uh, all right. So, is it right to left we draw in to have the lights on the outside? Yeah, it is. Okay, so in that case, we'll draw in right to left. No, we won't, because that destroys all of my zoning. Let's come through with vanilla dirt path instead. Nope. Strange how it didn't like it on this side, but it did on the other one. Can we come in behind? Oh yeah, I've never seen it do that before. It's fine. In fact, if we come through the middle and break some of the perfect 4x4s. Yeah, okay, this is fine. We'll do this instead. We are adapting on the go here, ladies and gentlemen. And then... One more through here. We're not going to connect there. Okay. have the buildings come in first. I don't think it would make a difference because um, it, it's shattering the zone in tiles, not the, the land around it. It's fine. It's not essential. We can live without it. It's changing the train level. Yeah, it looks like it's messing with the train heights a little. Okay, so I'm happy with this I think maybe do we want some some part life assets in here a little bit of flower bed spice perhaps or maybe some of these these little like mini hedges that we never ever use I think Pollington Park in Palavan has these but literally nowhere else in the city Bring a couple of these down. Try something new. See how it works out. And then maybe a little bit 
of smaller repeated brush spice. No, actually, we're, we're overdoing it. <laughs> we're overdoing it. We are overdoing it. I think that's okay. That's okay. Okay, we've seen some action around our town centre now. Things are starting to develop a little bit. Any problems? All that death been taken care of? Yes, it has. And we can nearly afford a sawmill, which is fantastic timing. There it is. Let's go and place this in. Uh, again, we'll have it on the dirt road, but its own dirt road, I think. And then forestry fence to repeat the pattern that we've got on the front of the road here. I really enjoyed um, Palavan's forestry build. That's like one of the favourite forest areas I've ever done. A really nice build that one. Like part two of Palavan where we worked on the forestry. Is there a way of mass unsubscribing assets? Ooh, lands. If lands is still here, mod lands will know. That's a lands question all over. Uh, I don't know, dude. Sorry. I am not the guy to ask about workshop stuff. Um, okay, so I think we'll add in a regular district over the industrial one. So again, for those picking up the game from the 2021 video, this is what Industries was before the Industries DLC, where we specialized a district to cover that particular resource. So maybe let's start adding in a couple of little forestry buildings. Lands. <laughs> um, Mod Landsarek is the guy. The guy who's just asked you if you're in the Discord. <laughs> He'll be able to help. <laughs> Realise I'm just like, yeah, speak to Lanz about it. Like, who the hell is Lanz? <laughs> who the hell is Lanz? Grace Blazer with a 9.99 US dollar super chat. Join the Discord. Best community on the site. Thank you so much, Grace. Appreciate your kind words and how much you're enjoying the community. Thank you. Mod lambs for MVP. Yeah, can we make that a meme, please? Can, like, lambs be memed for once? <laughs> there you go. Mod lambs. There we go. Someone make that a thing. I'll rename him when we get into the Discord as well. Rename him. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Why is this here? No, we're not ready to wear limited. Oh, you're not in the space, that's why. Would be helpful. There we go. Fantastic. I love mod lambs, especially so with some sorted vegetables. You know, just these little smaller zonings give us some props to help decorate. Um, the industrial areas without um, having to use any like major workshop assets. Yeah. It's going to be very similar to what we did in Palavan. Um, let's actually hook this into the highway now. Let's give this a, a connection and we can start to see a little bit of activity taking place on this side of the map. Just bring it down here for right now. And we'll worry about maybe inserting a roundabout at this point later down the line to whatever develops on. We have a little lake here actually, a little lake frontage maybe with a, with an island. The terrain is very uneven on this map. <laughs> very uneven. Uh, my top three DLC. Um, I did make a video on ranking them all, but probably part life, industries, oh no, green cities, industries and campus, probably my favourite, I think. 
Campus is always such like a controversial opinion. I think Campus gets a lot of unnecessary hate. Okay. Do we want to prepare? Okay, let's leave that as a reminder because we're going to want that second tram line in to flow over there at some point. It's not going to be ready just yet, but we'll leave it in almost as a reminder, I guess, right? Like a reminder. Love the new Palabano. Can't wait to see episode 36 next June. <laughs> hey, Kendai. Welcome to the stream. How are you? We've got some chunky residential demand right now. Let's continue to satisfy this, shall we? Uh, so you'll notice that I've left uh, a space between. This is so we can start adding in um, a couple of little uh, pathways through. I uh, will save one for here. Let's draw it in so we don't forget. Bring it down the middle as well. I love campus. Pride on over Scumbag College. Yeah, campus is good. Because you can integrate it with so many different things as well, you know, like public transport and just all these little unique varied builds. Exactly how we built the University of Technology in um, in Palavan. How's my path doing? Doing good. Do we want one further down here as well? I guess we'll try it. We'll see how much use it gets. Uh, it's going for grid, an angle. Start from here. About by 100. Yeah, snowfall only for trams as well. Trams are like the MVP. You need snowfall. I'll see if having one down here gets much use. See, the, see how the AI prefers to read these two pathways over. There's some people coming through here already, isn't there? Hmm. You have 4,372 assets. <laughs> Like, there's a lot of assets. Okay, so we're getting some people to pick up this highway entrance now as well. Wonderful. All right, let's continue decorating this up, shall we? While we're here. Um, let's grab our two-lane highways. And um, we want to come on road length. And smallest elevation step, of course. Okay. And then we can cross over. Not without them in the middle. Okay, let's draw on the slip roads first, then before we unsecure the roundabout. Again, for those that are new to the game, and um, the roundabout mechanics are a little weird. You're probably wondering why I've drawn across in the middle. Um, if you don't secure the roundabout by locking it in place with the plus symbol, um, then when you draw these side roads on, it will warp the roundabout into an egg. Um, which you think, for me, would be a good thing, but it actually just makes the roundabout horrifically ugly. Uh, and you have to delete it all. You'll get used to how it works just as you spend time with the game. Okay, and then road guideline, and we'll meet in the middle. Fantastic. And then same over here again as well. An egg about, exactly. <laughs> That's what it is, Lance. That's what it is. We've got 230 people in the stream. Welcome, guys. Appreciate everyone stopping by for a touch of Sunday Night Cities action. Cool. And then they will continue. I guess we could hook this in now. 
There's no reason why we shouldn't. Let's flip our directions. Here as well. We can continue our roundabout or highway decorations by why we wait for some money to stockpile. Maybe bring it up to where the bridge barrier starts. Same over here as well. We have a constant habit of starting a new city once per day and then abandoning it. Help. Sounds like casino. Sounds like casino. <laughs> I think sometimes you've just got to... You've got to be having fun in the build, you know? If you're not enjoying building it, then it's just wasting your own time. Like, there are times when I load up Palavin and I'm just like, I'm just not in the mood for it. I'm just not in the mood for Palavin's vibes. Happens to the best of us, I think. Not that I'm saying I'm the best of us, but you know what I mean. Okay. Space these conifers out a little further apart for a highway here. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Whilst I got hacked by a casino, I think he has. Okay, I'm aware that I'll lay mathematics out off here. We'll just then... Um... Up there, that should be okay. We'll start accepting people from uh, this side of the highway now as well. Although this will need to be three lane, won't it? Let's upgrade it into there. What map is this? Uh, this is Crater Falls from the Sunset Harbor DLC. Okay. And then we can upgrade back into three lane as we merge out of the city. Oh, it's not level. <laughs> it's fine. Ignore it. That sounds like um, like an off-camera job, maybe. <laughs> the never-ending off-camera job list. So I think we'll start to decorate around about with a little bit of repeated bush spice initially. Nothing. I'm gonna try and keep all the the spice palettes pretty basic for people picking up the game. If you guys want to get involved with some uh, fancier spice like Rock Gardens, then Palavin is for you. Playlists are available on the channel. Can't see my bush. There we go. Come at it from this angle. Calls for move it? Mm. There's always calls for move it, isn't there? Lots of people already using this one to come through. Nice. Very nice. Good. <laughs> Surprised again that it's uh, it's getting use. Okay. Nearly done with the repeated bush idea. And then, do we want to have the conifers run through the middle? I think when you're decorating the highways, you've got to keep them fairly uniform. Okay. Is there a direction of travel broke here somewhere? It's like no one using this side of the highway. Uh, I think we're right. What are we on for traffic at the minute? 92. It's 
busy around the industrial areas, I suppose, isn't it? Like it always is. Like it always is. Okay. Let's bring some stuff through here. So how much more room do we have to play with? Because we've got a pretty significant chunk of space between the suburb and the highway. These aren't particularly noisy roads, are they? Yes, they are. <laughs> Absolutely incredibly noisy. Okay, so with that in mind, we can't have houses here. So I think what we'll do... Is not that. Let's come for road guideline. Okay. That's fine. And then let's bring it from this central road. So this is something I saw like a huge amount in uh, London. It was like you drive through the main A roads in the city, right? And then you just see these like banks of like shops and I guess it, for cities would be commercial zoning. So we'll see if we can replicate this idea here. And maybe let's throw in a park asset as well for these residences over here. Um, maybe a basketball court on the corner. Yeah, let's go for that. And then we'll trim up some of these zonings here. And I guess we'll carry on decorating as well with our zoo fence as well, right? Bring our zoo fence down here. Mm, don't want you facing that. Let's knock it out, wait for it to come back. Mm, I don't think I like the zoo fence this side as well, actually. Sunday, it's always been a favourite place. Um, yeah, it's a fun place to live. <laughs> it's a fun place to live. Don't want to tarnish it for you. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoy living in London if you ever manage to, to get there and do it. Trees along here, or are we just going to conflict with the conifer pattern? If we mimic a sugar maple design to follow the conifers, are we going to make it look worse or better? Oh gosh, I didn't know you didn't like. No, it's uh, it's fine. You don't need to apologise. <laughs> Yeah, I lived in London for four years, um, and it was alright. It was alright. <laughs> okay. Let's go path through here. And I guess we could repeat what we have over here, right? How we've kind of bordered from the back of commercial into suburb. So what's the tutorial tree instead of palavan pines? Um, well, Casino wants this map renaming to... Was it Tin Man Valley or something, Casino? I'll confirm what it is in the Discord. Uh, so I guess it has to be something we're going with T, right? 
I don't think there's anything in here beginning with T. No. Redwoods. I mean, we don't have to do like the word alliteration or anything. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> redwoods. A lot of shout for the redwoods to be the tree of this city. I feel like we don't use the um, the redwoods enough. They certainly get neglected in Palavan anyway. I believe it was Tin Man Valley, yeah. Tin Man Valley is peak cringe, is it? Is he referencing something that I don't know? Am I, am I being dumb here? Is Casino doing me? Okay, no. Just no. Why are you generating like this? Just trim it up against the edge of the road. The redwoods are so overpowering. Mm. They are a little overpowering, aren't we? Let's actually replace this repeated conifer pattern with a repeated redwood pattern and see how much we all hate it. Because I know <laughs> no one's going to like this. <laughs> yeah, they're just massive, aren't they? They're just like... The only place they belong is a redwood forest. And the thing that we don't build in City of Skyland is a redwood forest. Mm. <laughs> Lars is just gassing you, is he? He better have been casino if you've baited me into some kind of joke I don't know about. <laughs> but how about this? That's the original point of what I was building here. Just like a little commercial front to decorate the edge of a highway. A little bit of repeated fence and tree spice here as well, of course. But I think we're all okay. I think everyone's having a good time. Um, let's continue to level up our forest industry, shall we? Uh, let's come in with a road behind. And we'll place some trees down for the natural resource. And then we'll throw in another tree plantation. We probably will eventually switch all these out for saplings, just because they look nice up against the highway put the tree plantations a little further back so you know as we look at it from kind of side on it's a almost a gradual layering of height I guess you could say if we're if we're looking for some words to describe what we're looking at okay let's have a little a little reach around here shall we see how everyone's getting on pathways getting lots of use no to you you don't belong here How are our trams doing? Yeah, not too bad. It's just nice seeing them move through this parkland. I think a tram and a parkland combination is like one of my favourite things to do in this game. I look at those redwoods from over here, man. They're huge. <laughs> like you can, you can see them from a mile away. I just don't think they're really attractive buildings, right? Okay, yeah, just need a lot more residential demand now. Um, how are we doing here? Yeah, none there. It's too close to the tram station. I think we'll round out this little suburban pattern here, up against the main road. The redwoods look great, do you think? Do you really? Okay. I think we'll just fill it out in one go. Get some more workers here quickly. And then again, we've got some pattern that we want to do here. I think what we might do is create a little bit of a part life cheese here eventually. Although we are going to have the tram roads flowing over. How is that going to look elevated? Does this going to look ridiculous? Eh, actually doesn't look too bad. What's the slope here? A thousand? Let me come back down to the ground. I think that'd be really nice when we have some uh, 
some champs flying over it. Maybe it needs to move this conifer back a little bit. Other than that, it's another nice layering of height, I think, isn't it? I think it is. I think it is. Okay. How are we doing over here? Hey, see, this is why we're super specific with picking assets in Palavin. Yeah, we're just doing grids to make it noob friendly. If you guys want to see one of my cities without grids, then uh, check out Palavin. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to leave the stream there, guys, because my throat is absolutely just raw and it's really starting to hurt now because I've been talking for an hour and a half. <coughs> um, I want to thank you all so much for support tonight. We've held pretty much 200 viewers most of the night. Um, really good turnout. Let's give ourselves some nighttime spies here, shall we? Um, yeah, you guys, if you're happy to keep seeing this city appear in live streams, then we will, of course, keep revisiting it and adding to it. Uh, whenever we don't have anything to do in Palavin, um, or we might even make it like a Discord vote. Uh, you guys can choose what city you want to appear on the Sunday stream. Um, if that's something that you can be bothered to do, <laughs> then we can. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've kind of seen how you expand and continue to you know, just develop and grow these little small town vibes. And taking the game slower is certainly, in my opinion, a hell of a lot more fun um, in terms of just getting the, the city to grow. Um, just organically and making it nice and cute. You know, there's there's no rush with this game. Is the take home point from yesterday's video and today's stream? I guess <laughs> there's no rush. Just take it easy. Uh, but yeah, thanks for the mods. Uh, Lands and Jane and Mrs Egg have been here most of the night as well. Um, even though she was supposed to be in bed resting, absolute trooper. Shout out to Ashley, everyone. Well, thanks to Harry, Hellboy, Casino, Laszlo. Eden, DJ, you guys have been here all night. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate your super chats as well tonight, guys. Um, as always, always tremendously generous. <laughs> really do appreciate it. Um, Ray, happy new year to you as well, mate. But yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to go and rest my throat, um, and I'll see you on Tuesday for Palavin's episode. Uh, where I'm pretty sure we're going to be working on some ore industry, which will be... Rather exciting, if I do say so myself. But otherwise, I'll leave it there. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And yeah, I'll speak to you later, guys. <laughs>